Hello everyone and welcome to Callie's Corner at Unfiltered Gamer. I'm Callie and today we're going to be talking about educational board games for the whole family. With stay-at-home orders right now, board games are a great opportunity to sort of turn off the screen time for a little bit, interact with your family, spend quality family time together, and it provides a structured social setting to do that in. I'm excited to share some educational board games that are fun, replayable, and hopefully help support learning through play. I've arranged these loosely by age, starting with games that are more visual and easier to learn for those who are younger. A lot of them say seven and eight plus, but even younger players sometimes can join in and that doesn't preclude them from being interesting and engaging for older players. So the whole family can enjoy these games. I also wanted to look into games, sharing games that are more accessible. So a lot of these are found on Amazon. You can also look online, find your nearest local game shop. A lot of them are doing some awesome deals right now and provide delivery or pickup and they can provide some interesting recommendations that are a little more tailored and specific to whatever your family needs. You can find all of the games at the links below. The Amazon links are affiliate links and thank you for supporting Unfiltered Gamer with that. So let's get into the game. First up, I wanna talk about Set, which is a visual card game for families. I like this because any number of people can play the game. You lay the cards out on the table. Everyone's looking for those sets of the shapes, color, shading, and number. You can have people pop in or out of the game. So if someone in the family adult needs to be cooking dinner while playing, you can do that or play the game in between other games while you're setting up or cleaning up. Set helps develop shape and color recognition, pattern recognition, and logical reasoning to find the sets of shapes, colors, numbers, and patterns. Moving on to Ice Cool, which is a dexterity flicking game for ages six and up. In it, you're playing as little wobbly penguins, flicking them around the board, which has walls because the box becomes part of the game, and trying to capture as many fish as possible. Ice Cool is great because it is really building those fine motor skills of flicking as well as some spatial reasoning and geometry with how you hit the angles and how fast or hard you flick. So kids are learning a lot as they're trying different things and testing out their skills and seeing what happens to their little penguins. Next up we have Suro which is a tile laying game You're playing as a dragon trying to be the last one standing and following your paths along the tiles that you place. Suro is great because it has that, it's all visual, no language as well, and you only have to hold up to three tiles in your hand. The tiles are a lot thicker than cards, easy to hold, and you kind of have to visualize where your dragon is going to go on the path before placing it down. And then you see, were you right? Did, did your dragon follow along that path? It gives some great informative feedback for your thinking process. In addition, you can add in some multi-step problem solving as you get better at the game, planning out your moves in advance, first this tile, then this tile, and eventually trying to get other players' dragons off of the board by strategically placing the tiles that'll move them. Next up is Looney Quest which I really like Looney Quest because it's kind of a video game in a board game. And you can use that to help players, especially younger players, learn the rules if they have experience with video game. You'll be collecting coins, avoiding monsters, collecting keys to unlock uh, locks, and <laughs> that makes it really easy to explain the rules. As well, you'll be sort of imagining your path through the level and then write it on your own transparent sheet then you take the sheet on top of the game level and see how well you've done. It's great to get some informative feedback onto how well you visualized your journey through the level. In addition, the leveling system allows you to start easy and then add in more difficulty, more challenge, more things, and develop grit and persistence as you develop your visual spatial skills and become a Looney Quest master. If you like Looney Quest, you'll also like Slide Quest, which is more cooperative and, but also has a dexterity element to it and video game element as well. Playing as the knight, 
everyone is trying to tilt the board and get the knight to avoid obstacles and complete quests. It also has a leveling system similar to Looney Quest, which helps develop that grit and persistence. Grit and persistence are great skills to develop because it can transfer over to other areas of the child's life, whether that's trying to solve a math problem, change a tire, learn to ride a bike, persistence will help them keep trying, learn from their mistakes, and eventually feel confident and accomplished. Next up, we have Patchwork which is a two-player game where you're trying to build your quilt using different pieces. It kind of reminds me of Blockus, if you've played that game before, with the different size pieces that you're trying to fit together. But in Patchwork, you're trying to build your quilt out of lots of different kinds of pieces and compete with the other player for those pieces to fill up your quilt. Patchwork helps develop spatial reasoning, which is how objects fit into the space. So as you're gathering these pieces, you'll be trying to fit them together in a way to complete a perfect square and complete your quilt. And down here we have Planet, a two to four player game about building your own three dimensional planet. You'll be choosing from different pieces and fitting them together on your planet piece in order to grow and expand your different biomes and try to complete different objectives on the field. In Planet, players have to decide which piece they want to add to their planet, where they want to add it, and visualize how it's going to expand different areas, the different biomes, whether it's the desert, the mountains, or the oceans, in order to help them get the objective cards. Planet also helps develop that spatial reasoning skills as you're trying to visualize how those pieces are going to help you grow which types of biomes and where. Last up, we have Santorini, a two to four player abstract strategy game. I like to think of this game as chess for younger players in that you're trying to continuously block the other team or other player while also trying to kind of lay a trap so that you'll be able to build your highest tower and get your piece to the top. The game includes variable player powers, which means there are different characters that each have unique abilities, but you don't necessarily have to play with those, and maybe you just don't want to on your first playthrough, which makes it a lot more about the mathematics and multi-step problem solving of figuring out how you're going to trap your opponent. Overall, most of these games are very visual and accessible to our younger players, which makes them great fun for the whole family. I hope you found something that uh, piques your interest maybe a few of them, and look out for part two, where we will look at some more science and thematic and even deeper strategy games for some of our older players. I wanna let you know too that while most of these games were given to Unfiltered Gamer, we are not compensated for creating this video, but if you'd like to check them out, please check out the links below to purchase the games. I'm Callie and this has been Callie's Corner. I hope you'll like and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you wanna see. If you wanna learn more about board game ter terminology maybe, more about the educational aspects of games, more about behind the scenes, reviewing and playing games live on stream, let me know. Thank you so much. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time.